Gunther, why are you in a diaper? I'm your guardian angel. Now don't blow it! I got this. If you want to no join singing, the Gunther. boys, you're gonna get that song stuck in my head. To me, it is really only one thing you always have to be. Brianna, please don't sing that song. All ready for my audition? What are you talking about? My poise posse audition. It's today. It's important. Kick, you promised you'd take care of everything. When? A year ago! Penelope Patterson. Next up, Brianna Batowski. Okay, ready? Absolutely. Let's do this. Ah! Oh, jeez! I'm allergic! Dairy! <laughs> Kicks log. Regarding my new propulsion system. Speed, good. Steering, not so good. Oh, hey, Brianna. Your bike! Hey, calm down. It looks just fine. You don't need to lose your... <laughs> Note to self. Don't upset Brianna. <clears throat> Brianna Batowski, to be a member of the Poise Posse, you must keep your cool at all times. Even if the world is collapsing around you, maintain poise and control always. So I'm sorry, BB, but you didn't make pee-pee. Brianna! <laughs> that means this year's new member is Penelope Patterson. Penelope! 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 <laughs> Allergic to cats, too! Kick! Being in the poise posse was really important! To me, and you ruined it! Sorry, I'll make it up to you. I'll let you ride on my handlebars on the way home. Heck! They only hold auditions once a year! Okay, okay, I'll take care of everything. I promise. Sheesh. Kicks log. Take care of getting a new and allergy-free escort for Brianna's Poise Posse audition. One year from now. I really need to listen to my log entries. You forgot my audition? You didn't get an escort to dance with me and... <laughs> Don't worry. I'll make this right. Remember? I'm Kick Patowski. No, you're Clarence, my big brother, and you let me down. Again! Steve, I broke my word to my only sister. Not even Brad would do that. Hey, Tailweed, here's the dead arm I promised you yesterday. Because I keep my word. Yeah, promises. Steve, I gotta get Bree an escort. Fast. And I know just the guy. Gunther. Ever hear of the Poise Posse? You mean as in, if you want to join the Poise? No singing. I don't want that song getting stuck in my head. Great. You'll make the perfect escort for Brianna. You forgot about your promise last year, didn't you? I knew you would. That's why I promised to help you. You did? When? I, Kick Batowski, promise you, Brianna, that I'll take care of everything for your audition one year from now. I, Gunther, promise Kick that I will be ready to help him with his promise to Brianna, even when he forgets that he promised it to her a year ago at the fateful day of promising. I really need to listen to all of my log entries. I'm ready to help. I've been steam pressing my tuxedo every day ever since. Twice on Sundays. So throw on your tux and let's go. Okie dokie. Kick, I can't wear this. It's got a moth hole. No one's gonna notice that. Oh, I think they'll notice. Fine. Doesn't your dad have a tux? <laughs> kind of in a hurry here, Gunther. All set. First, I have to see if I can dance in this. It's a little big. That'll do. I won't be needing this dress. Well, well, well. Hello, Brianna. I thought we might walk to your audition together. 
As a member, I like to support eager young candidates. No thanks. I'd rather breathe bike tire air. Calm and collective. Never lose your cool. Keep Please, Gunther, that song. Shortcut. Whoa! Ow! Right in my cummerbund. Shh. Listen. So, who's your escort? Escort? Oh, don't tell me you still don't have one. Well, my big brother promised me he was going to find me the most awesome, graceful, refined, elegant, and in-control escort you'll ever meet. You mean Mr. Cheesebray from last year? He probably waited until the very last minute, like usual, and grabbed the first person that popped into his mind. Calm and collected, never lose your cool. My brother wouldn't do that. He knows how much this means to me. Yeah, right. Ha! You're going to fail. <laughs> No, no. Don't lose your cool. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> Ta -ta. <laughs> I got you your awesome escort. You did? Who? Only the most awesome, graceful, refined, elegant, and in control escort you've ever seen. <laughs> wow, Kick. Thanks for that awesome introduction. <laughs> no, Gunther. Not you. Kick, I thought you got me an escort. Who is it? I did. Clarence Potowski, your big brother. You? You deserve the very best. Are you sure we can do this? Of course we can. We're Potowskis. They're all out there. Madison, Abby, the judges, Penelope, all of them. Cool. Let's do it. What are you doing? What? You can't go out there dressed like that. You need a tuxedo. Really? Yes, really. Okay, okay. No worries. I got this. Showtime. Uh, okay. What if we fail? Fail? Batowskis don't do fail. Now let's go. It's time to be awesome. Her brother's her escort? She'll fail for sure. Bye-bye, Brianna. Kick, make an entrance. An entrance? The song? You don't know the words, do you? The words? I... I... I do know the words. Thanks, Gunther. You're welcome. If you... You can do it. Failure. If you want to join the boys, posse, listen to me. There is really only one thing you always have to be. You actually like this? Uh, I'll take care of this nonsense. <gasps> oh no! It's okay. This is music I can dance to. Follow my lead. If you want to join the boys, posse, listen to me. There is really only one thing you only have to be. Come and collected, never lose your cool. Keep your temper and your voice. And your glitter like a jewel. Brianna. Batowski. I've never seen anything like that before in my life. Well, we tried. It just wasn't meant to be. And you did. Amazing! You kept your poise, even though the world was collapsing around you. Welcome to the Poise Posse. Yes! Yes! Her escort wasn't even wearing a real tuxedo! When I knocked over the set, she was supposed to lose her temper! As her call, cool. she was supposed to fail! Penelope Patterson. Your behavior goes against everything we stand for. You are hereby dismissed from the Poise Posse. But I love PP. Thanks, big brother. I couldn't have done it without you. No problem, sis. When Clarence makes a promise, Kick Batowski delivers. 
Where's Gunther? I thought he'd be here. I don't know. Ah! El Magigante! You'll have an extended lunch to do a report on your animal. Then present your research to the class. Now, I want everyone to do some actual research this time. And by everyone, I mean Kick Buttowski. Kick, you better hurry. All the good animals are already taken. Animals? What animals? <laughs> Ooh, sweet. I want something big, something fierce, something awesome, something... Ugh. Out of all the animals, I get the least deadly one? What is this thing anyway? I'm pretty sure it's a cat. Well, I'm off to research my cocker spaniel. Good luck on your report. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is not a cat. It's called a nuzlet. What's a nuzlet? That's your assignment. I guess you have to hit the library and find out. Not the library. This will teach you to return a book late. Oh! I can't go to the library. We both know that didn't happen. But it could have. That librarian is pure evil. I've never had a problem with the librarian. It would be too hot, Mr. Fluffy. Ah, my dad was getting off me. Ah! Evil librarian or not, you better blow the roof off the school with this report. Let's get this over with. No animals allowed. Well, technically, I don't know if you're an animal or not. But better stay in there anyway. Well, no sign of the librarian. Excellent. I'll get into my report and get out. That old bat won't be none the wiser. And she's right behind me, isn't she? Well, well, well. Look who's come back. To the library. Look, I'm just here to do a report. It's not gonna be like last time. Last time? Oh, last time was a blast. I had ever so much fun. I was so inspired by your last visit that I wrote a children's book for children. Hey, that's actually really nice. Yes, and the next time you and I have an adventure like this, or this, or this, here's how it will end. <laughs> I don't want to hear so much as a peep out of you. <laughs> not a peep. Not even a... I said not a peep! Starting now. Okay, let's see now. Juzzlet, Cuzzlet, Luzlet, Muzzlet. Ah, here we are. <sighs> Nuzlets and you. Okay, Nuzlet, time to do a little research on you. Nuzlet? <laughs> I've got my eye on you. And another thing. No, wait. I need that book. Really, really badly. This book? Yes, immediately. Really, really badly. Bodice tips for the ample chest? <laughs> Working on my pecs. <laughs> Jealous. Do not do that again. Keep it down in there. <laughs> now, be quiet while I find out what the heck you are. What? You want this? Well, you ran away, so you don't get any candy. Okay, fine. Just one piece. There. Happy now? Do not feed Nuzlets candy. Ever. 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 We mean it. I better put him back in the... He's gone. Nuzlet. Nuzlet. Okay, 
Candy Nuzlet. No more candy. <laughs> you? No, no candy for you. Because if that woman wakes up, it's curtains for me. So I need you to be quiet. You understand me? Quiet. <laughs> You did that on purpose! Now you look here! All right, you better... I'm warning you, I don't have time for that! Hey, a flying bottle! A screaming bottle! No candy for you! Gotcha! Ever so sleepy, he closed his sleepy time eyes and drifted off to a sleepy time sleep. You get down here this instant! Sweet aroma of dusty books. <gasps> and so ends my presentation on this dog. Okay, Gunther. And that's an F. Next up, kick Butowski. <laughs> kick Butowski. This thing is a nightmare. It's fierce, dangerous, deadly. It slammed me to the ground like a rag doll. It threw books at me. It pushed the librarian off a balcony. It lifted entire bookshelves, and for its grand finale, it destroyed the library. There's a reason there's no information on this thing, because no one has ever survived researching it! Uh, Mr. Bartowski, this is clearly the cutest, most innocent creature in the world. And you clearly did not do your work. 
you get an F. Oh. And as for you, little guy, you get a piece of candy. I'll just be inside this desk. Okay, you get an A. An extra credit to anyone who can find my spleen.